All right, I got that there. That's where my door is gonna go. And I've designed the doors. This is gonna be the door. Just slap some pieces together. What I'm doing here is I'm gonna mark out these inner boards. And then I got a couple more here to go on the outs. Okay, for the door I'm using white oak. I got the outer frame there. This is the under frame. It's actually the outer frame because all those screws are gonna go on the inside. And what I did is I took a pen and I marked all of these for the wire where I gotta drill the holes. And then I marked them. I'm getting closer with the pen. There's little lines in the centers. So when I put these boards back on here, you'll see where the lines are, where I'm gonna have to drill my holes in the center. So the wires are set in. Now that I screwed this board back on, I'm gonna do starter holes with a smaller bit. This is a one eighth inch bit. Right? Sometimes your bit will break off. That's okay. Undo the two screws here, leave one in, then you can just kind of bring it out. There's your bit. And flip it out of there. And have extra bits. And then your son gets something in his eye. All right, we started with a eighth inch bit. Now we're up to a quarter inch bit. We're gonna drill these holes out a little bigger. But they'll be big enough because they're a little bit bigger than the panel wire. And that'll be fine. On the rounded tops of the doors, remember the wire's straight. The wire's gonna go in this way. So you gotta try to prop it up a little bit so you can go straight down. See how I did it? Like that. So when I drill down, they'll go in fairly straight. The wire could be tweaked a little. I should put it back in. Okay, I got my uh, holes all drilled. Got them all pulled back apart. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna try to lay this back in here. Line everything up the best I can. And then I can put it back together. I may once that wire's in place. Put your screws back in and tighten her down one section at a time. Once the door is finished, stain it. And then insert it into your door frame. Place your hinges where you want them and attach them. And then your latches. I'm using two latches on here. They don't have to both be locked at the same time, but they can both be locked at the same time as well. Okay, the hardware is installed. Now it's time to put it on the crate. So I used tensioner springs. I'm gonna try to do this. It's difficult because I don't have a tripod yet. And you tension the tension away from the door, wherever you want, how much tension you want. And it's got this little deal. And it goes into one of them little holes. And once you get it on there, you hold it in place, and the tensioner goes right there. So that way the door springs back. I got the top on, the bottom in. All I did is run a drill down on each four legs. I'm gonna put in a six inch bolt. I didn't do the top yet though, it's still floating. But the bottom's in. And there it is. Dog crate, number one.